Anger in the workplace can have huge negative implications on our career if it's not handled correctly. And it can follow us around for a long, long time if we just even make one really bad move. So I have worked with leaders and teams for three decades with a specialty in the area of conflict mastery. And believe me, I have seen a thing or two and I have learned a lot. And I'd like to share it with you here. First of all, I'm gonna share two gifts that come with anger. And then I'm gonna share two types of anger. And then I'm gonna share the one most important consideration that you have when it comes to anger. And then the last at the end, I'm gonna share five different ways that you can shift and channel that energy in a productive way. So here we go. The first gift of anger. If you are angry, it means you care. It is something that, that bothers you, you care enough to get some energy moving on it. And honestly, I would much rather work with somebody that's angry than somebody that's apathetic because you've got some energy moving that we can work with. The other gift of anger is it's a sure sign that there is conflict. And conflict is required for growth. Keep that in mind. And so, so there's an opportunity here for you to grow professionally and personally if you can move with this anger in a productive way. And so innovation comes out of, out of conflict as well. And so if your, your anger has something to do with something that's going on, there's some possibility of some great innovations coming out of it. So those are the two gifts of anger. Now, I promised you two types of anger. So the first type is what most of us think about when we think about anger, and that's what I call charged anger. And that's when somebody yells and screams and they've got a lot of energy moving around it. It's, it's charged. That's one way it comes out. That charged energy may come out too around going and telling other people the story. Ain't it awful? I'm the, they did this to me. And, and that's, again, that's a way of charged energy that you're expressing that you you're really not seeing anything other than what you see as that issue. Another way that charged energy can happen is you can internalize it. And so it really hurts you more than anybody else, but you can hold it inside. And many years ago, we called it going postal, where somebody that's really nice and what we see as kind all of a sudden just explodes because oftentimes holding in anger over time, it just builds up like a pressure cooker and then bam, something small can trigger that and it goes crazy. So charged energy can be very destructive and if you've been on the receiving end of that, which I have a number of times in my life, um, it's very memorable and it's, it's interesting. I had a woman many years ago who was upset with me and I, I, there was a misunderstanding, but what she did is she came to where I was and in front of a, a group of people, she just laid it on me. She just was in her anger and she was just bludgeoning with, with me. And it was, really, um, it was really ugly. And I know for ever since then, and it's been years, whenever I hear her name or I see her, I always remember that ugliness that she dumped on me because it wasn't really justified but she was really angry and, and I got it. When you experience that bludgeoning where somebody dumps their anger on you, it's, it's a thing that's hard to get past. So as a leader or team member, that can follow you around for a really long time. And mind you, anger can be justified and is justified at times. And again, depending on what type of anger we wanna be with, and it can be caused from something that's a misunderstanding. It could be just something annoying us, or it could be an out and outright betrayal of trust can create anger and uh, lots of other things. So again, what we do with it, this charged anger is pretty volatile. The second type of anger is what I call centered anger. And this is what we work towards in conflict mastery. So centered anger, we know we've got anger and we can be more the witness of anger rather than dumping it on people. What we've done is we've worked through that charge so that we can actually have a bigger perspective of what's going on. 
And that's what I call centered anger. And so now I can have a conversation and clearly communicate and be understood and, and be open enough to really learn more about what's going on if I can get to the point of centered anger. I call that more being the witness of my anger. So rather than, than being, being anger where I'm just acting it out, now I recognize that I'm angry, but I don't have to beat you up. I can actually have a conversation. Okay, so now the one most important consideration around anger is this. You know, you can really be justified in your anger, and I don't take that away from people. But at some point, you need to make a decision. Am I going to hang on to this anger and live with this anger? Or am I going to do something and move through it? And that's a decision. And I remember a long time ago, I had a lot of anger. And I remember a friend of mine saying to me, you know, you've got a lot of anger around that. And I said, I know I do, and I'm not ready to let go of it. But then I got to a point that I was. I, I recognized that the only person that that anger was hurting was really me and, and the people closest to me. So I worked through that anger. But that's a decision that you have to make. Are you ready to work through this anger? Okay, so now I told you I give you five tips. And these, these five tips are a way of letting off the charge of that charged anger and moving to a place that's more centered anger. Okay, so the first one, and I think probably the most important one for most people, is to get physical. When I say get physical, I don't mean beating somebody up. I mean, go for a run, go for a brisk walk, go, you know, move something, but really get your body moving so that you can dissipate that energy. And you may need to do it day after day after day after day. You know, I'm a swimmer and I love to, I, I, you know, if I'm really angry, I just kind of really slap that water. You could go punch a bag. You could go, you know, go to the park and run up and down stairs. But whatever you do, to kind of get that energy moving. My martial arts practice is that way too, as I can really move through energy when I'm on that mat. So what is that for you? How can you get physical? And, and again, I don't mean like you're gonna go punch the person. I mean, how are you gonna dissipate it through physical activity? Okay, so that's number one. Number two is write about it. Now, when I be cautious here and hear me out on this whole thing, get, get a pen and paper and you just write, you know, like if you were going to tell that person off or really express that, just write it out, write it out, write it out. Caveat, do not send that letter. Do not send that letter. Destroy the letter. Whether you burn it, rip it up, whatever you do, get rid of the letter, then write another letter. And I think each time you do that, you can kind of let go more and more and more of that, again, that, that energy that's so destructive. But please do not send the letter because if you do send the letter, it's the same as going and land blasting somebody verbally, except now there's a document and, and it's the same type of energy. So do not do that. Okay, so number three. Now, you might be surprised when I say this, but scream, not in front of the people. Go to a safe place and scream. Go in your car, roll up the windows, keep the air conditioning on if it's hot, and scream. If you live by yourself, scream. And you could even hit something at the same time. And, and just scream. Let, it, let that energy move out of you. Um, I know I used to hit hit my mattress with a with a tennis racket and just let you know let that go so so that verbal or that that sound energy can really help you release that anger as well okay so number four breathe um, I have I'm gonna put a little card in here to go to another video I, I do Masogi breathing which is mind-body purification it's a simple breathing exercise but you could when you breathe out, you could imagine just letting go of that, that charge and breathing in something more peaceful. 
and just make that a practice. It might be a hard place to begin, but it's a, it's a really great thing. And actually, I do that most days just a way, as a way of keeping my, my any charge I do have kind of keeping it moving out of me so that I'm not, it's not contaminating how I see things. Okay, so now the fifth thing, and you really probably need to do one or two of those first four things to be able to get to this point. But start asking yourself some questions. One question could be, is what I'm angry about, is it even true? Or am I, am I, am I slapping on my own interpretation of something? So asking yourself, is it true? And exploring that, is what I'm angry about true? Another thing you can ask yourself is, what's my part of this? You know, did I, did I, did I do something that brought this on? And that, that's a really way of taking self-responsibility for your own behavior. Yeah, so what's your part of it? Another thing you can reflect upon is what, is what is the fear that whatever triggered that anger, what's the fear you have around it? Because most emotions, I believe, are either coming from love or coming from fear. And when you can identify the fear that is behind that emotion, then you can address that fear. So, you know, if somebody's always late, you could be angry because they're late again. But the fear behind that is that you want to be on time or you're worried about your customers not being served appropriately. So think about what is the fear behind that emotion, behind that anger. So that's it. I'm Karen Valensic, and I am the founder of Spiral Impact. I work with leaders and teams to help them innovate and collaborate through working through conflict mastery. I would love it if you would subscribe here to this channel and I will be continuing to post more information around those topics. That is it for right now.